Hello and welcome to the General's Reviews. I'm Chris McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80 from the Full Force Podcast, and I'm joining Justin Bell from What's On Joe Mind and General's Joes to bring you this review of the Vitruvian Hacks, Green Mamba, and the Color Breeder Guard, Gorgons from Boss Fight Studio. Before Justin reviews the figures, let's delve into the look of the characters and their backstories. Both of these Gorgons have dramatic paint decos and have been given very interesting backstories indeed. We will start with the Green Mamba. As well as a cool green and yellow colouring, this figure has an awesome black and grey pattern on the tail and shiny bronze armour that is just spectacular. We are familiar with the Gorgon structure now, but I never fail to be attracted to these beautiful figures when I see a new vibrant colour scheme. The Green Mamba uses the same build and head sculpt as the Black Racer Gorgon, and in this new colouring we see all of the great details in the screaming fang face. Their backstory is a simple one, sly and vicious and with a very potent venom, so don't get too close or it's curtains. The Collar Breeder Guard, however, is named after the Collar Breed Die species of snakes, and more specifically takes the pattern and colour scheme from the Honduran albino milk snake. The orange, creamy light brown and white stripes are very easy on the eye, and you can see that the figure has used this exact colouring. They are described as the smart and cunning generals and commanders of the Gorgon Horde, but what's really cool about the character is the fact that they are cannibalistic, just like the actual Honduran milk snake. This is a level of awesome you only tend to find at Boss Fight Studio. That's all I have to say on the matter, now let's get down and dirty with Justin Bell. Now, unlike the previous reviews I've done, I'm only taking a look at two of the figures from the series two, from the second Kickstarter campaign, or second shipment of the Kickstarter campaign, this time around, because I've already looked at uh, both Black Racer and the Coral Snake Gorgon, who were um, the two other Gorgons that were part, you know, besides Medusa anyway, that were really part of the uh, the carded figure set. And uh, it just so happens that the Green Mamba and uh, Colobrita are two of my favorite figures in the Gorgon series, which is really saying something, because the Gorgons as a whole are pretty fantastic figures anyway. So uh, Green Mamba was from Wave 2, so we're going to take a look at Green Mamba first. You can see the fantastic green deco uh, on her arms, on her tail, um, all through here. Whoops, I left her armor unclasped. Oh, well, I'm not going to fight with it right now. Um, she's got a great pattern on her tail, just the way the um, the, the tampo kind of goes through here. It's nice, slightly faded. It looks really natural. Um you know, I, as many times as I do these reviews and as many times as I look at these figures, uh, I am consistently stunned by how well this this tail really works and how nicely it poses and just how great um, and versatile these figures end up being. It's really terrific and astounding to me. Just <laughs> every time I touch these things, I'm like, is this toy real? It's real, yes. Um, she's got this nice kind of duller, it's not really gold, but it's kind of bronze slash gold armor and gauntlets. Her, her Gorgon snake skull helmet kind of matches. Instead of looking the bone color like the others do, it's actually pretty vibrant gold, which is a really nice look. Uh, she has two axes. These axes are some of my favorite weapons uh, in the run, and they're these are stone axes. All the Gorgons pretty much come with stone weapons. So um, these axes are made of stone, and I really love, that's part of the reason why I like the Green Mamba so much, is that she comes with two of my really favorite weapons. Um, yeah, the Green Mamba is probably one of my favorite Gorgons that we've gotten yet. Just the color is fantastic. It's an excellent kind of green and gold combination. The deco on her tail is so nice. She's got those two battle axes. She's got the gold Gorgon skin skull helmet. She's got the black racer, you know, I say, I call it the black racer face because I got the black racer first, but black racer actually came out, uh, is technically a wave three figure, whereas green mamba is a wave two figure, so really green mamba had this face first, uh, just I happened to get my hands on black racer first, so I call it the black racer face, so, um, hopefully you kind of understand all of that, but she has a very distinct look, she's, she's bright without being too bright. And um, But she makes a fa fantastic addition to my Gorgon Legions, and uh, I actually, believe it or not, ended up with three of her. Um, so her, her and, the, and the Black Racer are kind of my two, um, the backbones of, of my army, so to speak. And she stands up just as easily, but I love, she also comes with one of those Gorgon shields that um, all of them seem to come with. But uh, she's a great figure. I really love her yellow underbelly, too. She really looks, she looks a lot different 
than some of the other uh, Gorgon sisters. She really stands out among the crowd and is a very nice figure, and I'm very excited to have her as part of my Gorgon horde. Um, she, she's a good one. And another good one, actually, that came out technically with Wave 4. Um, as, as things go on, I believe, um, I think Boss Fight has announced that they're going to be moving to a pre-order system rather than you know going too deep into Kickstarter with future series. So they're going to be doing more, more wave by wave, which will be nice because it gets kind of confusing when um, when I say, you know, Cola Brita Gorgon is technically part of Wave 4, even though she came in one big box with Wave uh, 1, 2, 3, and exclusives and all this other stuff. But yes, technically she is part of the fourth carded wave of figures, and she is one heck of a fantastic-looking uh, addition to the Gorgon Horde. And what I really like about the Cola Brita is that she is labeled as kind of the general, uh, Medusa's, you know, top generals when it comes to, to the Gorgon uh, army. She is uh, in command, so to speak, of her forces. That she isn't, um, the Colabritas aren't very large in number, um, but they are very, they're master strategists and they're kind of Medusa's right hand um, commanders in the field, which is a pretty neat concept. And the deco on this figure, uh, for anybody who was watching the Kickstarter and, and can't really remember the name Cola Brita, she was called the Milk Snake Gorgon during the Kickstarter. And that's kind of what the deco they're going with here. They're kind of the layers of the orange, white, pale, tan kind of color. Uh, it's a really amazing pattern that she has throughout the snake skin. Um, really makes her look nicely different. And the pattern kind of continues on the arms, as you can see there. Um, She's a little bit different as well with her uh, skull helmet, where the green mamba was gold. Most of them are kind of a dull bone. This one is really kind of bright white. It still looks like it's bone, but it's almost polished, um, which is kind of a neat idea. She's also got the shield. As you can see, she's got these two swords. I really like these swords, um, the medium swords, kind of the ones without the hilts. She's got two of them, and then she's got her stone sheath on the side there that she can put the swords into. Her armor is kind of more dull steel rather than the polished gold look that some of the other Gorgons have, which is nice too. It really differentiates her amongst some of the others, although it's kind of odd. You would think somebody in a higher command would have brighter colors or more regal colors. Um, she doesn't. She's kind of down and dirty, um, which is cool. She looks, she's a really awesome, awesome figure. I just, I love the colors. Everybody should know by now what a fan of bright colors I am, as long as the colors make sense. And I think Boss Fight Studio is fantastic when it comes to designing and um, coloring their figures. And once she's got that calmer face that we saw with the Coral Snake Gorgon originally. Um, but she is a great looking figure. I really, really like both the Cola Brita Gorgon and the Green Mamba Gorgon. All, both of them are fantastic figures. Um, I, you know, it's tough to say these aren't great. F None of these figures are, are bad figures. Um, especially the, the Gorgons with this awesome engineered tail that manages to be amazingly stable yet flexible. And you can see both of them stand up very well. And I'm really excited to add these vibrant colors to my Gorgon display, which is growing uh, ever so much. Uh, anybody who's been watching these videos knows that I bought a second Medusa to give my original Medusa a longer tail uh, to make her stand out kind of among these others. And uh, it's Nice to see this, you know, army kind of building around her, and it's going to keep building too. As Boss Fight Studio just announced that uh, Boa Constrictor Gorgon is coming out in a fifth wave, which is pretty awesome. And um, so there you have it. There is the Colabrita. There is the Green Mamba. A couple of excellent new Gorgons for your Vitruvian Hacks uh, Greek mythology display. I'm really ecstatic about these figures, and uh, I'm really excited to finish these reviews. So I can actually play with my toys. Um, yes, I still play with toys. Uh, get over it. I'm 42 years old. I'll do what I want. So uh, um, that's the story there. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. This is Justin from GeneralsJoes.com. Thanks to Chris from the Full Force Podcast for putting these together. If you liked what you saw, give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. If you didn't like what you saw, leave me a comment. Let me know what you didn't like. But uh, just subscribe. Follow me along. I'm trying to get bigger and better. And I don't know what I, what I can improve unless you tell me what I can improve. So keep those comments coming and keep the feedback coming. I want to keep growing and making these better and better. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching, and I hope I will see you back here soon. 
thanks for watching this review by Justin Bell of GeneralsJoes.com and What's On Joe Mine, and from myself, Chris McLeod, aka Diagnostic80 from The Full Force. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and let us know what you think on any of our numerous social networking platforms. Goodbye, and see you next time for another Generals Review. Thank you.